We're back playing Bag Chow. Uh, Matt and I just played one game where I was uh, the Goats, and now I'm playing as the Tigers. So it's a two-player ice rack board game. Post the rules and links below, like always, as, as I always say. And I, be I believe this game has a really old history. I believe it comes from Nepal, and I believe that it... Mm -hmm. meaning, if I'm remembering correctly. Meaning two Tigers. It's been around for like, a pretty long time. Yep. Um... So you can the tigers can jump over the goats like checkers, so jumping over, jumping over and capturing it. Um, and the goal of the tigers is to capture five goats, and the goal of the goats is to capture or is to just trap, is to place their twenty goats down, and there's a moving phase. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. We have other videos of that. Here's the rule page if you want to pause there. I'll post the rules in the next below. That's the same. But yeah, it's a pretty easy game to watch. Say if he went on E2, I could jump over him that way, or D2, you can jump over him. He has 20 goats right now that he can just start placing out on the board. Uh, yes, I have 20 goats right now. trick with your first move is not to put them directly next to the tigers. What? It says, I'm trying to repeat a previous position when I did the same move as you did on the other game. Moving E1 to E2. Weird. I guess I can go this way. Yeah, I guess that's... I'll read the rules about that. When all the goats have been placed on the board, it is not allowed to perform a move that repeats any previous position that occurs in the game. Alright. Learn something new every day. Nice, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I can't remember, I mean, I know there's a corner strategy of keeping, maybe not as a strategy, maybe it's just a bad strategy. Uh, keeping in the corners, I think you do want to move out at a point, but I don't know exactly where you want to influence. I have played well as the Tigers before, but I can't really... Articulate or remember the strategy that well right now. I need to use the tigers to kind of influence other threaten things, I guess, is an is all around good term for it. So I think definitely once you have to start placing in the middle is where I need to have good squares and be able to kind of threaten jumps, kind of fork jumps, I guess is what I call them, threaten two forks.
What time is it there for you? It's in the morning, right? Uh, 12 hours ahead, so it's 9.47. Cool. And what you got going on today? Not a whole lot. I'm gonna play some D&D later. After that, probably just hang out. Relax. Nice. You gonna play something else after this game? Uh, we'll see. I might, I might go get all my after this game. Right. So we've got our daily Carcassonne game to get on. I mean, I, I'd be pretty down to play Carcassonne. All the way. We just gotta see if she's up. Actually, I kind of prefer it. I know it, they quit sometimes, but at least yeah, this one. Uh, we have seven current Carcassonne games that we've recorded, and I want to at least get to ten in the next, like, few weeks. I don't know. So that's three Carcassonne games I'm looking to record. Alright, I missed this this one before, so I'm gonna go for it now. So I've captured one goat. Um, I have to capture five to win. Five to win. If you put four tigers in a cage with 20 goats, how many <laughs> goats do you think they'd actually capture? <laughs> uh, I mean, it, <laughs> every day it would go down, definitely.
I think I got it. I think I got it. Once it, once you get down, the more goats you get, just the, the yeah, it gets it's, it gets significantly easier once you get past two goats. Yeah, and I already got I already got another one definitely. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Tiger president. <laughs> wow. Cool. That's bag chow. If you have any questions, let us know. Uh, Goodbye. <laughs>